But most of the stuff we do on the show is safe to do. Some of it is very dangerous and should not be done unless under supervision. We are trained professionals. Hello, my name is Dr. Mask and we're here today to show you movie magic. Today we're going to do a nice simple one that anybody could do, but you should do this under parental supervision. We're going to show you how to generate sparks using just these materials. Some steel wool, and a battery. That's basically all you need. What you'll be doing is you'll be taking a little bit of it off. I'm not going to do it right here. We're going to be doing a practical showing later on. But what you do is you take this little bit and you rub it against it. And what it does, it creates a charge that because of the size of the wires on this steel wool, it cannot be completed and instead will heat up and create a sparking effect. Now we have different, as you can see, we have different types of wools here. We have a very coarse wool, which through experimentation we've found is not actually good enough to actually carry a charge. So we do not recommend this. We have the medium. The medium is the best to use despite what other people might say. This creates a good amount of sparking and can actually be used all the way through without chance of burning unless you're an idiot. And then we have, with, then we have the fine. The fine has, has some issues. The fine has some issues. Sometimes it'll catch, it'll catch and spark really well, but it has some issues with actually burning you. Through experimentation, we've had a few burning issues. And speaking of burning issues, we have the super fine. Super fine should never be used if you're trying to make a good sparking effect. These will cut, once these are set off, they will start to burn and literally catch fire, which none of these other ones do. So you should be very careful, and if you're going to be using these, have someone there with a bottle of water to put them out. Now what we're about to show you is a practical showing of how these exactly are used. So, let's go. Now you might be wondering, why am I standing out here at night with night vision on? Well, it's simply to do an intro. Because what we're going to be doing right now, is we're going to be doing a practical demonstration of how to exactly we do this. And for the best effect, we're going to be turning off the night vision and we're going to be letting my assistant, Captain Hat, show you exactly how it's done. 